This November, Santa Rosa County residents will be asked to approve a one cent sales tax to help pay for a new courthouse. Santa Rosa Sheriff's Deputy Ricky Cotton took us on a tour of the current aging and inadequate facility. This is one of the issues we look at. I'm going to show you some other stuff. That, um, that can't be good. <laughs> this is a utility closet. Oh, wow. You don't ever get water in there, do you? No, not good. in this one. Not, not that one. If we don't keep it going, it would be so humid. Oh. That it smells bad and leaks if it when it gets humid. Oh really? This room. It's brisk. <laughs> now when we turn the air off, these um light are these uh skylights. Skylights leak like it's raining in here. Oh my god, uh, we, really? We had it leak on the judge's bench on the the fence and uh table. If you want to, you can go get a picture. Like right now, it's 58 degrees in here. And you said you have um, folks who have to work in here, you know, all day in this particular room. They bring space heaters? Yes, they do. Uh, we've got people who, like, uh, we've got people from probation mm -hmm. and uh, stuff of that nature who have to sit in here when we have a docket day. Mm -hmm. And they bring space heaters to plug in. That way it keeps them warm. And this is the big courtroom. This is the room that accommodates the largest, obviously, number of people. So Correct. You're it's going to be used a lot when you have those big kind of cattle call DACA days and stuff like that. Yes. So bring a sweater. Yes. Or and, two. And if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> on the uh, forms and even the judges tell uh, most of the people that's coming up for jury duty and stuff of that nature, we never know what it's going to be like. So bring a sweater or you know a blanket wow. or dress appropriately. <laughs> or a blanket. You can, yes. It's uh, 90 some degrees outside right now. Correct. And there has been times where a juror has gotten cold in here and we've had to go to a judge's chambers and get a blanket for them. Oh my gosh. Well, that's just, I mean, you all have to have something better than that. That just can't be. That's correct. <laughs> that's correct. All right. Well, let's show us some more. All right. Let's keep going. Oh, it's 10 degrees colder in there. <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> At least. Um, one of the other problems is this, this is the main entrance to our big courtroom. So when we have a big felony dock day, misdemeanor dock day, anything of that nature, we could have, um, like the other day, we had 150 on the docket, uh, yeah, 150 on the docket for in here. Mm -hmm. Well, not only do we have a judge in here going to lit to hear these 150 cases, we also have this hallway to move other judges. So you've got people standing in this hallway, shoulder to shoulder, and then you've got judges walking down the same hallway with them. Wow. Um, so in, on top of that, there's also times where we have to walk inmates down this hallway along with everybody else. So, I mean, literally, they're bumping up against each other. Yes. Yes. Wow. Look, you see all the wires. Oh, wow. That is pretty far from my deal. Oh, correct. And this one does have water in it. Oh. <laughs> oh, well. I mean, obviously, when you build a building in 1927 or whatever, and you expand it in 1950-something, you don't anticipate what you're going to need 50 years from mm -hmm. now. And you're correct. Uh, this uh, okay. this is one. part of the hallway yeah. that leads down to uh, the one of the, the only portable courtroom that we got as part of the court of portable buildings. Mm -hmm. And this was the part that was built in 08. And... Um, uh, they have problems in the past with it leaking. Um, oh. They have a problem now, which um, was noticed the other day, that the wall is getting real soft yeah. um, underneath the, the, air the air conditioning. And I mean, this is just this is for witnesses to sit. Witnesses. Uh, we also sit family members of the, um, you know, like somebody going to court. Mm -hmm. So, and it's been where we've had this hallway full of family members and we use in this courtroom for inmates and we have to walk them right down this right hallway. Right past the, wow, that's not, it's like the definition of uncomfortable right there. Yes. Power's always going out in this courthouse for some reason. Uh, when it's raining and lightning and stuff, mm -hmm. it'll, it'll flicker, it may flicker for a second, but everything goes off and, yeah. and uh, we've got it trying to fix that problem so the backup when it flickers it won't go down. 
we got the, uh, the battery backups and different things going on there, trying to address that issue. But the main thing is to keep the judges' terminals going. Right, because they have to because use that. They're, they're using a smart bench. Right. And so they still have access to their files. The, uh, the new courthouse, if we get it, will be up-to-date technology. What if you don't get it? Then we'll just have to use what, what we got. We'll just have to continue on. If the people don't want or don't think that Santa Rosa County needs it, we'll just do what we can until something until you can't. Comes, comes into the future. We're inside uh, Mr. Spencer's office. They have tape X's on the floor where the floor is separating. Yes, we're and soft sagging through. And yeah. sagging, yes. So when when your foot, your heel comes through, it comes through up here. Correct. This is what's underneath. Correct. All of those 65 people and their computers and their Desk workstations and, and their else. desks and all that stuff. Yes, ma'am. It's my understanding that when Ivan hit, um, because of the storm surge of, in Blackwater River, mm -hmm. that we would be standing somewhere probably close to waist deep in water now uh, from the way Ivan come up. That is not exactly the most secure environment. You're absolutely right. <laughs> Absolutely right.